Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. I want to let you know something that I think you already know, but I want to remind you of it because I believe that God wants to use you today. Here's the thing. We live in a world full of disruptions, a world full of competition, but God wants you and I to be a peacemaker. See, Jesus said, oh, how happy are the peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers. And really in a world full of rivalry and competition and conflict, a peacekeeper is rare, but a peacemaker is even more rare. And I believe that Jesus in speaking about this is really trying to help each one of us to see that our role in every situation is that to be someone who brings peace, just like Jesus did for us. First, peace with God, that upward peace. And then because of God's peace inwardly, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, then we can proactively be peacemakers in the world. So here's what I really want to encourage you to do. Avoid and turn away from every opportunity to take something and create more drama or conflict. We live in a world, I like to say it this way, that conflict is, is inevitable, but drama is optional. And really for the child of God, our goal should never be to add gasoline to a fire, to be a grenade thrower, uh, into a situation to create havoc. But our job should always be, how can I bring the peace of God into each situation that I find myself in? And whether it's introducing people to Jesus himself or choosing to walk through a situation, not making it worse or uh, uh, you know provoking it or exacerbating it, but simply to be able to try and help bring peace in the midst of the conflict that's already going on. So this is what I do. I want you to share this video because how amazing and how much would our world change if all the people have gone, everybody was like, look, I'm gonna be a peacemaker instead of somebody who's a conflict creator. And in the comment section, I want you to tag somebody who you watch and you know who does a great job at being a peacemaker in situations. It's a lost art in our day and age, but we want to be able to celebrate and encourage the people who are proactively making peace because they're acting an awful lot like Jesus. And, you know, peace is one of the fruit of the Spirit, people. And God bless you all today.